Chef Row here. Today I'm going to talk about how to cut a bell pepper. Now there are about 5,000 ways to cut a bell pepper and I know this because every chef I ever worked for told me I cut it wrong. So I'm going to show you the two ways that I like to cut a bell pepper. The first way to cut a bell pepper is the simplest, but you do run the risk of getting some seeds. So, uh, and But you do waste the least. So there's trade-offs for every way that you cut it. So the simplest way, in my opinion, is to cut it straight down the center. And then I just take a bowl. That way I don't have to do this over the trash because then you run the risk of accidentally dropping it in the trash. And you can just pop out the seed packet right like that, okay, and the stem. Then you got to give it a little shake like that so that all the seeds come out. The beauty of cutting it this way is that it gives you something to hold on to. Now, you want to get rid of the white, but if I try and dig in there now, it's going to be really hard. So generally what I do is I get to the point where there is the white pith and I get rid of it. Then I hold on to this, and this way I curve with the bell pepper, and do you notice I turn it as I'm cutting? That way all of these are the same size. Uh, if I were to just go like this and cut straight, uh, these outside pieces would be much larger than the inside pieces. And now that I've gotten to this center where there's a rib, I just go in and take it out. And then I continue to cut. Okay. And then if I wanted to dice, I take my sticks and I go across and make a nice little dice. The other way to cut a pepper is a little bit fancier, and it can be a little wasteful, but you're never going to run the risk of leaving behind any seeds. Okay, so first things first, you're going to give it a flat bottom, and then you shave off the top. Now, some people find this wasteful because they don't take the time to go back and cut this. So in my opinion, you should definitely take the time to go back and cut this and use it uh, if you're going to do it this way. But it is a nifty, fancy little way to do it. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to cut straight down from top to bottom to make sure that you have a cut all the way through. Once you have this cut, you're just going to get your knife in here and you're going to roll the pepper just like this and you'll see I have the whole seed packet out, none on the board, none left in the pepper. Uh, usually at this point I cut it in half just to make it a little more manageable and then I'm going to do the same process I did when I was cutting it the other way. Cut the sticks, then take the sticks and cut the cubes. And you'll see that there's a little bit less ribbing in here, but it is still there. So you are still going to need to remove that once you get to it. Now you know two different ways to cut a pepper so many more still but those are my two favorite ways depending on what i'm using them for hopefully you'll like one of those ways too